In today's video, we're going to look at the evidence behind PEA for pain relief, not to be confused with the green peas. We'll look at the correct dose and find out if it's really the miracle supplement to get rid of all your pain. Let's get into it. PEA, short for palmitol ethanolamide, also known as palmitrol, is a natural fatty acid found in fatty foods such as egg yolks, but it is also produced by the human body. It has been prescribed more and more recently by pain specialists as an alternative to traditional painkillers and anti-inflammatories with almost no side effects. PEA is also used in other conditions involving cytokines, which are molecules that send messages to the rest of our body to increase or decrease inflammation. Conditions that PEA can help with include allergies, cold and flu, mood, neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, insomnia, muscle recovery, memory and concentration and possibly anti-aging. PEA can have many benefits in different types of pain such as osteoarthritis, joint pain, neuropathic pain, post-op pain, back pain, sciatica, carpal tunnel syndrome, fibromyalgia, endometriosis, dental pain, pelvic pain and headaches. If you're taking pain medication for these conditions, you probably understand that many pain medications don't work, can have lots of side effects and may be less effective over time. PEA works on several different pathways in the body, which is the reason it has both anti-inflammatory and analgesic effects. One of the main pathways it works on the body is the endocannabinoid system. This system regulates most of our body's functions, such as immune response, pain, inflammation, mood, learning, and more. Another substance that you've probably heard of, which also works on the same system, is CBD, which is derived from cannabis or marijuana, although PEA doesn't have any of the addictive or detrimental effects of marijuana. PEA is produced from the fat stored in our body when we experience injury, inflammation and pain. In long-term chronic pain and inflammation, the PEA levels in our body decrease and this is where food and supplements come into play. PEA is naturally found in foods such as egg yolk, soy oil, peanut oil, corn, cow milk and some varieties of tomatoes, potatoes, peas and beans. To get a more consistent and beneficial effect, you can take supplements of PEA. You can purchase supplements already made or get them made from a combating pharmacy. There have been about two dozen clinical trials looking at the effect of PEA in various types of pain. The largest study was a double-blind, randomised, placebo-controlled trial in over 600 patients. This study looked at the reduction in pain on lower back and sciatica in three different groups. The first group took 300mg a day, the second group took 600mg a day, and the last group was the placebo group. The study found the 600mg group had more pain relief than the other two groups. The study also determined the number needed to treat, which is a reliable measure of how effective a pain medication is. This is the number of patients you would need to treat for one patient to benefit. The higher the number, the less effective the medication is. If the NNT is one, this would be the most effective. The NNT for PEA is 1.5. This means two in three patients will get at least a 50% reduction in pain. Now let's compare this with other pain medication, such as ibuprofen 400 milligram, which has an NNT of 2.4, paracetamol 1000 milligram, which is 3.8, and codeine 60 milligram, which is 16.7. By looking at the NNT, we can see that there is more chance of getting at least 50% reduction in pain by taking PEA compared to most pharmaceutical patients painkillers including prescription medication. Another smaller study comparing PEA head to head with ibuprofen found that PEA was more effective in reducing TMJ anti-inflammatory pain than ibuprofen. The evidence is strong in using PEA to reduce pain and inflammation, however more longer term studies are still needed. It may also be beneficial to use PEA in conjunction with your pain medications to get better relief. PEA has been shown to be very safe and in all clinical trials there have been no serious side effects. You may possibly get some stomach upset but even this is rare. Keep in mind studies have only been done for up to three months. There are no known contraindications and as far as we know it doesn't interfere with any medication. Of course it's always best to speak to your doctor before starting it. Standard doses range from 300 to 1200 milligram per day. The dose can be taken once a day or split into two or three times a day. As PAA doesn't last long after getting absorbed into the body, theoretically it would be better to split the doses during the day. However, studies have shown that taking PAA just even once a day is effective for pain relief. I recommend starting with a dose of 400 milligram three times a day. Try this for two to six weeks and adjust your dose up or down depending on your response. 
PEA is fat soluble, meaning it doesn't dissolve well in water, therefore has poor bioavailability. Because of its poor water solubility, the form of PEA is really important. There are two forms of PEA you should be looking for, either a micronized or ultra micronized form, or one using a special dispersion technology such as Lipisperse. Micronized or ultra micronized PEA reduces the particle size to allow for better absorption. Some small studies have found ultra micronized PEA to be better absorbed than micronized. Lipisperse is a special technology that uses a mixture of different surfactants and solvents to allow for better solubility. Unfortunately, there are no side-by-side -side comparisons, but both forms have been shown to be effective. I'll include a few links below to some well-absorbed forms. So is PEA really the miracle supplement? Well, considering two in three people will get at least 50% pain relief, there are virtually no side effects, no contraindications, no interaction with any medication, and can be taken with other pain relief medications, I would say it's definitely worth a try if you're suffering from pain. So that comes to the end of the video. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.